currently in quantum chemistry research which we are doing at fractal we are also currently exploring the problem of QGANs generative modeling for drug molecule generation so this this exploration of research is based on the base paper from IBM which was published a few months back on small molecule uh, discovery using generative models and primarily the research problem is is as follows like you know this classical GANs these can discover drug candidates and they can generate very good molecular structures even in 3d as well and these molecular structures generated by the classical GANs obey physical and chemical properties and these uh, also provides affinity also shows the affinity uh, towards the target disease but in classical GANs we face this problem that we are not able to explore certain regions of the chemical space because the chemical space is high dimensional in nature and that is why they suffer from the curse of dimensionality so therefore uh, what was proposed is the qubit efficient QGAN which is the qubit efficient version that means which uses less number of qubits for a quantum generative adversarial network and this model has proven to be able to learn richer representation of molecules and they are also able to search exponentially large chemical space with very less number of qubits efficiently uh, now the data set which we are currently considering is the qm9 data set so qm9 data set is a very standard uh, data set and it provides uh, quantum chemical properties for uh, uh, consistent and comprehensive chemical space of small organic molecules and uh, that's why this data they has been they, this database has been used for several benchmarking purpose as well as well as the development of new drug discovery and molecular simulation methods as well as identifying the structures uh, the chemical structures and their uh, identification for uh, disease uh, disease cure now uh, this data set which we are talking about the Q, uh, QM9 has around 134k uh, stable small organic molecules and each of these molecules are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine and these are taken from the larger GDB17 chemical uh, database which has around 166 billion organic molecules so i'm just going to briefly show this is an ongoing research we are at the very initial stages of uh, exploration and the extension of this uh, research for more efficient uh, uh, architectural uh, methods of qgan as well as of exploration and research of various statistical distance metrics uh, in order to find better architecture or a better generative algorithm for molecular simulation and drug elements discovery or drug candidate generation so that's the that's the ultimate goal so uh, we start with installing a few libraries penny lane we have utilized penny lane pytorch fresh at distance we will use and rdkit rdkit is a library which we will be utilizing to calculate the properties whether the drug is either a drug or not whether it is soluble or not etc and we import these libraries uh, we set up our simulator here as you can see here we have set up our simulator and then we define our generator circuit so this generator circuits uh, circuit is a sandwiched uh, circuit that means that it consists of a variational quantum circuit and followed by that after we take the measurements out of those variational circuit those measurements are fed into a classical neural network for further processing and then output of the neural network is fed into the discriminator model and this is the uh, primary research undertaken so as you can see chemical compounds they can be represented as graphs and uh, graphs with nodes and edges uh, with various atoms and their bonds so bonds are the edges and atoms are the nodes and this is uh, what is visible in this figure as you can see there is oxygen atom here and this is the nitrogen atom and according to that we have taken we have defined the the bond matrix b and the atom vector a according to the position so we start from zero position so zero one two three 
four five six seven and so on and on the right hand side you can see the matrix the operator representation of parameterized quantum gates such as the ry uh, ry gate the rz gate and the c not gate which are used to define the generators variational quantum circuit now if the generated stu uh, structure uh, is chemically stable and it exhibits high affinity towards the receptor binding site which is our goal then it can be treated as a va valid drug molecule why because the generated chemical will be proved to be an efficient drug if it if it has automatic high affinity towards the binding site towards the disease binding site it should bind to the disease it should have a strong affinity towards the disease disease site so that now the drug can bind to the disease site and cure the disease that is what it it's meaning to say and uh, then what we do uh, is that we are able to now define the uh, our qgan hybrid generator architecture and as you can see it's a qgan hg architecture so as you can see this is the binding site so let's say this is the disease and we have the drug fragments which are being generated by our qgan hg model and then it should bind like this as you can see this fragment this green fragment binded with this blue binding site disease and it should cure the disease and this is the structure as you can see this is the uh, structure we have the parameter as quantum circuit and it goes into a neural network layer then we output the atom layer bond layer as i defined the atom vector and the bond matrix and then it is fed into the discriminator as you can see it is fed into the discriminator and the discriminator has already been taken from a previous uh, previous uh, research which has been done called mol gan molecular gan and from that the real and fake that the real data is coming from the qm9 data set as i have defined before and the fake data is being generated by our generator and as you know already with the familiar uh, with the familiarity of a classical gan the work king is as follows that the discriminator's job is to try to identify the compare the distributions of the data generated by the generator and the real data set and if it is not able to discriminate between the real data and the fake data generated from generator that means the generator is doing particularly nice job in generating those distribution of the data in this case the distribution of our data is the molecular structure so therefore if the molecular structure which is generated is very very close or very very similar to the real data present in qm9 data set that means the generator is doing a very very good job in generating the proper efficient chemical structure which can bind to the disease site and based on that now we calculate the freshet distance so freshet distance uh, actually helps to identify the distance between the real generated real distribution data and the fake distribution data and also for the fake distribution data we also calculate drug properties right because how will we know that if the drug generated uh, is uh, is uh, like can we call it a drug either we call it a drug or not can we call it a drug or not so for that drug properties needs to be calculated and for that rd kit comes to our rescue now uh, this is the variational circuit so this is an example of the variational uh, circuit as i've shown you in the above code here so this is the variational circuit as you can see consists of ry rotation y and rotation z gates around the block sphere as well as entangling layer these are the zz interaction the two c not gates and as well as zz interaction and this is the feature vector which we get in measurements and these measurements are feed forward are fed into this classical neural network and that is what is called a hybrid model what is the meaning of a hybrid model hybrid model means combining quantum layer and classical layer together for processing that is the meaning of a hybrid model here we define our generator and solver so this is the architecture and defines the number of parameters we actually load our models uh, for training and inference so here in this code the training and inference is done for the real data and the fake data based on the atom vector and the bond matrix as you can see atoms and bonds for the real and fake molecular distribution we calculate the freshet distance as you can see 
and this threshold distance is basically as i have defined before it will measure the similarity between the real and generated molecular distributions and what we do so till now the work which we have done is as follows so we have actually printed out the training information till now uh, with each of the iteration and we have calculated some scores like s a as you can uh, see this is a qed score a log p score so these scores are important and s a score so these these three scores are of particular interest because these are those scores which are actually able to help us identify whether it is a drug or not so qed is the quantitative estimate of drug likeness which will measure uh, whether the compound generated by the generator is a drug or not then we have the solubility coefficient which is called the log octanal water partition coefficient which will measure whether it can be soluble in water or not and third is the synthetic accessibility which will define that whether you can easily create the compound generated by generator in a pharmaceutical factory or not because if this compound which is generated by generator is not uh, accessible in a pharmaceutical factory then it is not a very good drug candidate right so therefore that is why together with uh, with some other properties uh, they are measured using rdkt and that's how we are able to evaluate whether the 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 molecular structure generated by the generator is as efficient or not